Alrighty guys, we are ready to hop into the third series of the day. I already told them to just go, go, go. Because we went from being way ahead of schedule to being behind of schedule. But uh, that was a, a very, very fun best of five. Uh, much love to Holy Hit. Thanks for the raid as well. Great games, mate. Honestly, that was super fun to watch. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed playing in it. Please DM me your PayPal. And the same goes for Dodi, Fiond and Iba, if you guys are listening. Uh, six series. Honestly, one of the best best of fives I think we've seen in all four weeks. You guys delivered in a very big way. Let's see if these two will deliver too. And I have to admit that I'm a little bit anxious. Because these two, they like to play the late game. So, bye. Yeah, we'll see. We're just going to lean back and buckle up. Enjoy the ride. And let's hope this is a fun one too. Let's get it on. Round one. Fight. In the top right side, we are looking at the main base of Miguel, the lover of Mamacitas and the man who absolutely popped off in those WTL qualifiers. They call him Windicta at this point. I don't know who the favorite here is. Who are you guys voting for? Is that... I oh, hate me. Okay. Uh, I think it's very, very, very close. Uh, let's see what this best of five is going to bring. This is Vindicta. Representing the Cranky Ducklings. I'll post it again, Fiont, just for safety. In the bottom left side of Inside and Out, we are looking at the main base of our Austrian Zerg representing Platinum Heroes. This is a man that is a teacher in real life. It's Hate Me. Hate Me was very good a long time ago. But back then, honestly, and I don't mean this in the wrong way, he didn't accomplish a lot. And that was crazy to me because he was so much better than his actual results. Then he took a big break. He came back. And he finally started qualifying for Dream McMasters the way he should. Uh, I think he's really good. He lost the late game. Vindicta loves the late game. This could be a long one. Uh, I don't know. I feel like they both have some momentum on this side. They both have been playing well uh, recently. Good results. I would almost say they are both better, perhaps, than they have ever been. No idea what to expect. Other than maybe a Turtle Festival or two. And like I already said at the end of the previous best of five, I'm going to take it a bit easy here, guys, because I need to save some energy for our main event of the evening. That's Rainer versus Clem. And this could obviously be a long series too. So I only have so much energy as a 35-year-old man. But obviously, if the games get good, I will not be able to contain myself anyway. But we're going to slow down a little bit. I hope you guys had fun watching DreamHack today. I hope you guys are pumped up. For, I think the biggest main event we've had, Kid against Kid, Rainer Clam. It should be good. And for the people that don't know, Rainer is currently in my house. He is playing from my old streaming room. It's not the first time that Rainer is here. In the past, he just came for fun. This time around, it was kind of an emergency. He needed a place to play DreamHack from. And it turns out that nobody else wanted to adopt the Italian other than Roddy. So he's here again. <laughs> but it will be good. I think your series was amazing, Iba. I absolutely loved it. I think you played amazing in the first two games. I think uh, Holy Hit displayed some great gameplay, and that final game was fun too. Cuckoo Co-Cast. If Cuckoo wants to join for game two or game three, yeah, I'd be totally down for that. Cuckoo says no, so I guess no Cuckoo Co-Cast. I think Cuckoo is afraid to be on voice with me after he got bobbed 3-0 by me on the last few days in Atlanta. I understand that. I wouldn't want to face my demons either. It's Helly and Banshee, I think the most standard opening in this matchup. Mm, but we are not going Cloak Banshee. We are going Single Banshee. So it's Helly and into Single Banshee. It's going to obviously save some resources to uh, hop into Marine Tank a bit quicker. Now there are a couple of small maps in this map pool. Which doesn't mean that we won't necessarily get to the late game. But hmm. ah, well, He's done, alright. I'll see you for game 2, mate. Come to the NA server and now I will invite you to game two. If they actually play all the games on East, which I think they will. Ooh, that's a lot of damage on your Banshee. Hate me so far, bulletproof. What I can tell you guys from uh, playing against Hate Me myself is that it's hard to find damage against this man. His defensive uh, style is good. 
he reminds me a little bit of Nemshar in his glory days, where Nemshar obviously is still active, qualified for Dreamwork Masters, but I think it's safe to say that Nemshar is less good right now than he used to be. Hate Me is very similar to Nemshar, where it's not so much about run buys, it's not so much about aggression, it's just all about defending, getting a very good economy, focusing on whatever is happening on your side of the map, and then slowly but steady start worrying about offense. Vindicta is capable of uh, sneaking in a 2-rex or a 3-rex, by the way, but I think he will only do that if he's winning. If he's losing, I don't think he's going to do that, because he's confident in his own abilities right now to win in a normal, straight-up way. Man, that was, a, that was a crazy best of five between Iba and Holy Hit. Absolutely loved it. I think I did a phenomenal job there. Did not know that we needed Holy Hit against Eva in our life, but apparently they create some bangers. And that's really cool to see. I'm almost done with my monster. And since it's uh, we're closing in at 11 p.m., I think that is kind of where we can uh, enjoy a cheeky whiskey. Nothing too crazy, but... Where's my brother writing me? Nothing. Maybe I'll have dinner at my brother's house tomorrow. I think that'd be fun. I don't know if it's an option. I live very close to my brother, for the people that don't know that. And his wife is an amazing cook. So we can get some nice meals there. Uh, they've also met Rainer a couple times already. They like Rainer. Rainer likes Rico and Ronda. So I hope we can have dinner at my brother's house tomorrow. That'd be fun. Scan goes down. A couple of creep tumors are getting picked off. Actually, that's a lot of creep tumors for a single scan. As we have a few links that are going to get absolutely roasted. And the top left side, Vindicta feels that maybe it's time to get lucky and see how many banings he can get. But that's too much Zerg. That is too much defensive Zerg. I think it's first safe to say that the first push has probably been denied. Now, if you guys feel like Ruddy. This is gonna go on for too long. I wanna watch Rainer Clan, but I can't stay up that long as we have uh, Hellbats morphing on creep. Bailing's getting really good connections though. I mean, this is looking good by Hate Me. Hate Me is looking very solid here in game one. Vindicta has lost the majority of his important units. The Marines are gonna get wiped out. I think at this point, Vindicta could even be in a bit of trouble defensively. Good news for him is that Hate Me. Seems like he doesn't want to do anything too wild early on. Hive already halfway done, by the way. It's 8 minutes and 30 seconds, guys, and a hive is halfway done. Uh, but I am recording all of this, and I will upload it to YouTube. So in case you guys cannot stay up to watch Rainer Clam, if you guys take a look at my YouTube tomorrow, you guys will be able to watch everything there. We're setting up a, a little bit of a Ling Bane counter. That, I don't know if that's supposed to be a wall-off, if we're working towards a wall-off, but it's not done yet. Here come the Banelings as well. But the Banelings will disengage. Kind of feels that Vindicta is not getting a whole lot done so far. That's a lot of Ling Bane, guys. That's a lot of Ling Bane. There are a couple of Marines, but they've already stimmed once. Nice choke point, though, for the Marines. And that's where the tank shots are going to get extra juicy. That is exactly uh, what it is, Iba. I agreed with Basilisk to do four of these fight nights. They are definitely happy. Uh, they thought they've been fun to watch so far. They love StarCraft. They're so passionate about it. It's really refreshing to talk to people that still have this much energy and this much excitement to get involved in StarCraft. But the next two weeks, we have uh, obviously DreamHack going on. So if we return, it's going to be basically three to four weeks from now. And maybe a slightly different format. Maybe we'll adjust a couple of things. I definitely want to adjust the starting time. Because I realize that starting at 8 p.m. is a bit too late. I don't know why I started at 8. But yeah, we'll see. Fingers crossed. And there is a good way to make sure that we get more of these. And that's by showing love to Basilisk. But we'll talk more about that later. As Vindicta is getting a couple of good trades in the bottom right side. Felt that the uh, mid game wasn't all that hot. But the last minute, it seems pretty strong, actually, for Vindicta. We have a Widow Mine! Oh, oh, oh friendly fire, actually. Oh, my goodness. Mine, fresse. 
That's a lot of links going down into a single Widow Mine shot. And that first Widow Mine, even if it did some friendly fire too, it was still a very good connection. <coughs> yeah, Vindicta is playing very solid. Felt that uh, he had to warm up a little bit. But the King of all the Mamacitas is starting to feel it. And I'm starting to see why they're calling him Vindicta. The Widow Mines, even though we only had a couple, every single shot has been cash money so far. Now, of course, with Ultras out and zero Gulls, I mean, Ultras can become very, very impactful. I think those are Liberators, right? Yeah. This is something Vindicta loves to do in every single matchup as Hate Me goes off three. But these Widow Mine shots, again, are absolutely monstrous. And I don't see a lot of drones falling to these Liberators. Uh, unless they just host it without Game Art, but I don't think that's the case. I, I think I was even the host. Uh, nine drones have gone down in this entire game, but those lips not super impactful. The Widowmine shots, though, they were big. The Ultras do have plus two armor and kindness plating, and with zero ghosts on the map, Widowmine shots! Oh my goodness. Every single shot has been so freaking big, man. I feel like we're averaging 20 link kills every single time a Widowmine fires. And now with a couple of extra liberators, we may not have goals, but if we can get up to four or five lips, uh, Ultras is still going to have a tough time. Currently have two Ultras and two Vipers and two extra Ultras are on the way. Looking forward to another 20 Widowmine shot. It's just a matter of time. I okay. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> right when you build it up, guys, it doesn't happen. Fusion Core goes down, second Starport goes down. As Vindicta seems like he just wants to make sure that he can actually get five bases up and running. Hate me is burrowing a couple of banings next to a widow mine. More widow mines are going to burrow. Not a single one of them fires, but there is widow mines on the high ground too. We have a couple of blinding clouds going down on the tank. Both of the players actually having a few things going for themselves there. The problem is that Hate Me lacks anti-air, so he can't really kill all this command center. Still have those world banelings. We have world banelings here as well. Scan goes down. But the marines are on top of it. So a good little baneling connection there. And this double drop gets denied. We don't have to throw away a matter of fact Vindicta. We could, but we really don't have to. Seems like Hate Me has taken out the rocks. Trying to find one more way to potentially attack Vindicta. That scan, by the way, missed the world banelings. As we now have a Nidus network go down too. 13 minute first game. Honestly, a lot to play for. Surprised to not see a Ghost Academy yet. Maybe if Indicta only wants to go... Well, we have a Ghost Academy, but we have zero Ghosts on the map. Hate me is good. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them working on the rocks at the same time. One of them obviously was wrong there. Ultras are powerful at the same time. Hate me is attacking the top left side, guys. But we are still suffering from the same problem as before. We don't have any anti -air. What we do have is apparently a ridiculous amount of links that are all over the place. Baining's trying to get some connections. The repair there was a little bit late. Blinding Cloud also denying... Well, not a whole lot, but denying a little bit. They're just both losing so much. <laughs> 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 they are both losing so much, but obviously Hate Me is finding economic damage, and that's something to get very excited over as a Zerg. The one thing to get less excited over is that he only has 71 drones, and he has no bank. And that means that you can't really do this stuff forever. As Vindicta's making the accidental Reaper. Nice little Lingron by though on the top left side. Plus three links with Adreno Glance. About as gnarly as they ever get. I think the extra 14 drones here make a lot of sense for Hate Me. Because playing a uh, aggressive... Well, once we actually get all the bases right and we're high tech. Aggressive style is fine. Running into Terran setups is fine. But then we need big, big economies. To make sure that we can truly stay as the Swarm. Because attacks like that of 62 drones, you can do that twice and then you're broke as a joke and no matter how much damage you've done, you're not going to be able to rebuild anymore. Ooh, doors are wide open, guys. Plus three links, Adreno Glance. Say goodbye to a lot of your depots. A couple of links or a couple of Marines show up, but these links are too good. Same time, the armies are going to clash here again as well. Bane links are going to try to make their way. Widow Mines! fire and nothing really had a whole lot links coming in from the back 
Means there's a bit of friendly fire there too, but Marauders with all these medevacs is so tanky. So good. At the same time, eight Marines are going to drop in the bottom right side. Take out a Spine Crawler. Spore Crawler will take care of the medevac, but Marines can still get on top of the drones. Very close for his game between these two as well. <laughs> Fun one. Hate Me is obviously looking good here as Vindicta only has a 39 SCVs left and he doesn't really have the potential to get a 5th base up and running. What we do have is Liberators making sure there is some proper... Justice reigns from above! Where them Vipers at? We have two Vipers. Hate Me seems like he's not bothered. We have a Burrowed in faster as well looking for a juicy fungal. Can we land that fungal? What are we gonna land the fungo at? Here come the links, plus three fungo. Connects with a couple of marauders. The widow mine shots though are out of this world and 80 links just disappear. And the only thing that's left is a couple of fat ultras, but can the ultras make it through the choke point? It seems like they can. And that means they will get on top of the final few bio units. But yeah, nice spread there by Vindicta. Vindicta will hold, but we have to ask ourselves the cast a question at what cost. Nice little bird link there. Gonna force out another scan so this orbital can't land. We have a bird link on the top left side as well. And Vindicta realizes that he is a bit too far behind. GG. Hate me takes the 1 0 lead after a 17 minute competitive game, I would say, on inside and out. And that means, I guess we stay on US East. I think uh, if Hate me is fine with playing everything on US East, obviously I'm completely fine with it too. We are trying to be very comfortable and just make everybody happy. I think US East is pretty fair for somebody from California. Like maybe it's small ping advantage Vindicta, but America is big and making Vindicta play on Europe from the yeah, West Coast, I think is a bit too much. I think he can just never get a fifth base though, Ian Blue. I think he could never ever get a fifth base there, so I'm okay with him tapping out. We were broke, we had 39 SCVs and we couldn't get a fifth base. If there was a fifth planetary somewhere, I would be like, yeah, he should stay in there, but am I in the wrong channel or something? I don't get it. Uh, they say Cosmic. I can host for them. WCS Game Art. East. Hello, Glaive. I appreciate it, mate. Happy Friday. By the way, I'm going to be in Sweden in a month and two weeks. So maybe we can meet. That'd be a lot of fun. Especially because I will have a lot of free time during the day. Uh, if you want, join my Discord. Ping me there. Add me. Maybe we can stay in touch. Players are ready. I'm ready. Let's go ahead and hop into game two. I do, by the way, want to say in advance that Hate Me said he doesn't really enjoy playing late at night. But then I said, I'm sorry, man. Uh, you have to be the third match. And then he's like, ah, that's okay. Then at least I have an excuse if I play poorly. I think it's safe to say in the first game, he did not play poorly. Uh, Cuckoo wants to join. So I will go ahead and open Discord. And we'll get a little bit of Cuckoo casting. And that also allows me to relax a bit before hopping into uh, Clam Rainer. Which I think is a good thing. <laughs> Alright, where is Cuckoo? Am I not friends with Cuckoo on Discord? That seems to be impossible. Huh. I was about to say. I'm writing Cuckoo wrong, guys. <laughs> Look at look at how these kids talk to me. Fucker, dickhead, noob. In what universe does he think he's gonna get paid next month? Cause that ain't happening. Especially not with those abominable performances of him as of late. Alright, start voice call. <laughs> Actually I need to share my screen as well. Uh, Hello dickhead. <laughs> hello, hello. Behave, <laughs> mate. Behave. <laughs> it's a basilisk nah. event. Watch your language. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's it, 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 it's fine. The basilisk guys likes me. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe they're like me. Then they pretend they like you. 
No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do some intros and then you can give me your thoughts about game one. In the top left side of Cosmic Sapphire, we're looking at the main base of the American Terran player playing from San Diego, California, representing the Cranky Ducklings, Vindicta. You can do the other intro. And in the bottom right, representing Platinum Heroes, it's Hate Me. Woohoo. All right. Be before we get into all the memes and banter, what did you make of that first game between these two? I mean, Vindicta did better than I expected, to be honest. So like, you, uh, you thought Hate Me is a relatively big favorite coming into this best Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like I, I think Hate Me is going to 3-0, most likely. But to be honest, uh, I, I, I think Vindicta played pretty well first game. I think uh, he did, uh, you know, he had a poor decision because I think he went uh, leap range before Ghost. Like his first Ghosts were very late. Mm -hmm. And I think you always want to get, get Ghosts faster than leap range. But besides that, I think he played pretty well. Yeah. Someone in the chat is asking, what MMR is this? Uh, hate me, I think on average is 6,300 MMR. I think Vindicta is a bit lower on the European server, but that's also because he's obviously playing from California on the European server. So it'd be pretty insane to make 6,300 MMR with that kind of a thing. Now we're playing on US East. So these two, in my eyes, should be very close and competitive. Cuckoo thinks it's not, but that could also just be because Cuckoo is going to get bopped a lot by Hate Me on the European ladder. <laughs> and because of that, he thinks Hate Me is unbeatable. But maybe Vindictas is better in the match cap, than Cuckoo is. Cap, cap alert. I'm not even playing uh, Hate Me that much, but when I do, he feels pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I, have, uh, I also think he always feels very good. But I think Vindicta's results lately have not have been nothing to scoff at, though, right? Like, especially in the WTL qualifiers, I think they've been very promising. Yep, Vindicta. Vindicta carrying. All right, what do you yeah. see for strategy here in game two? Uh, I explained two on one. Can we skip this game, please? This is like 2 0 for me. You're not doing a very good job in being a hype guest today, Cuckoo. Yeah, but like, how can I hype 2 on one, mate? Why not? This build is like, I don't know, man. Not okay. a great build. Then talk oh, about. Oh. Then talk to me about why could Vindicta go for this build? If you think it's that bad, and Vindicta obviously has very similar knowledge in this matchup than you, why do you think he loves it? I don't know, man. He's an A player. I don't know. He has a different. <laughs> he has different brain than me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I have European brain. He has an A brain. Okay. We don't really have the same thoughts. <laughs> All right, well, that grenade does not really work out, and it seems like this Reaper is going to get picked off. Let's take a look at what Hate Me has been scouting so far, as here comes the Overlord. It spots the 2 1 1 setup, sees the lack of a third CC, and obviously, I think that Marine count is a strong indication as well. So, what would be the best possible thing that Hate Me could do in the next two minutes? Uh, just spam Queens and Zerlings. <laughs> that's like like that's really like uh, yeah but of what economy because if he starts building links right now he's obviously going to be in trouble because you don't want to be Zerg player mate i like i know when i try to see one one they always just hold it with zerlings and and, and queens yeah. it never feels good or i just suck at doing it this also might be the case i am very confused about what i'm currently happening okay we were waiting yeah, he just wants to follow up it with uh, with another medivac with six marines and one mine. This is exactly what Acheron played in the previous uh, fight uh, Basilix, like previous Friday against Trifax on Data C, if you remember. Yeah, yeah. He played this exactly build, but he actually straight up killed Trifax. <laughs> yeah, Trifax made a few too many drones. Hate me, his drone gun is not ultra high. He's making a lot of links, so he's indeed spamming those links. Plus one carapace is on the way. It's a single Evo setup so far for Hate me. And it definitely does feel like he's bulletproof. Vindicta is going to pick up all the units and he's going to fly into the main base. We're going to unload, take up, take out maybe an overlord if we get lucky. No, we're not going to get that overlord. So Vindicta obviously needs to do a little something something. But that is too many Zerglings no. to deal with. And so far it does feel... This Just make Zerglings and Queens. <laughs> but yeah, but he's making all of this out of 41, 46 drones to be fair though. Mm -hmm. He's at the same... Uh, worker count as the Terra. Yep. And the third CC is done. It's morphing into an orbital, so I think there is a lot to play for here. Yep. I agree. Uh, he's gonna follow. I, I, I don't think. Uh, yeah. When I do this, my Widow mine kills all my Marines. Man. It's, it's so painful. 
No, this winner my fires with a queen. I gotta say, that's a lot of links going down, and the queens are now off. Vindicta getting a couple serious Ws, and he's feeling it, so he's gonna throw down a scan. He will keep stemming forward. Gets another queen. Gets maybe the final queen, and that's the queen with all the energy. Saves the Marines as well in a low HP medevac. Well, I hope you're taking notes, Cuckoo, because this is apparently how you play the 2 1 1 against Hate Me. Yeah, I don't know what to say, but look at these trades, man. And also, Hate Me is like floating 1k minerals. He probably doesn't have enough larva to spend it. Yeah, all the queens were busy. Yeah. Also, he's only on, on, only on 3 hatcheries at 7 minutes. Yeah, I don't think is, that feels right. This is looking <laughs> really bad for the Austrian Zerg. So, so far, so much for that NA brain. So much for skipping into the next game. Because Vindicta is going to be absolutely loving life right now. And Hate Me is probably wondering, where did this go wrong? Uh, I mean, I, to, to be honest, I, think, I, I still think Hate Me is going to win. But that's pretty good for Vindicta. I will uh, gladly take a friendly wager with you that Hate Me is not going to win this game. Mate. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I know, because you're a smart kid. <laughs> <laughs> I love the setup here as well with what I like to call the Big Gabe Bunker. It's a well protected the Big Gabe Bunker. The only thing that Hate Me really had going is that Cruise Thread was good in the center of the map. Widow Mine does not burrow in time, so that's a nice little pick off there for Hate Me. Obviously, every second that goes by right now is going to be a bit more promising for the Austrian Zerg. We're going to get more Bane Links. We have Bane Link Speed. We already have plus one armor. We're working on melee upgrades too, but. I think the first time that hate me that Vindicta is truly ready to push, it's gonna get very dicey for the Austrian Zerg. Yeah, I agree. Like also the the Chris Pate couldn't uh, couldn't go that far. Which we all know that Creep is the best Zerg tool. Okay, I do want to point this out, by the way. Uh, we have a uh, interesting comment in the chat. As both of them are just building up right now and waiting for their upgrades to finish up, uh, Captain Bogusnot says, why don't we chat a little bit about how Cuckoo lost 3-0 against you recently? Yes, Cuckoo. Nobody <laughs> said that. For... Say, <laughs> uh, say, say. What do you want to say? Yeah, how, how on earth are you 0-3 against a 35-year-old man? <laughs> what? What? I... 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 Mate, it's not 3-0, it's fucking 2-1. And the, the, the only one game... Okay, so I'm, I'm queuing a game, I see that I'm playing Roti, I'm like, okay, he's streaming, let's give him a good game, let's don't 3-rex him, and I play some random fucking build, I end up losing, and Roti is bragging like fucking 5 hours on the stream, it's coming in my stream bragging about how he win against me. I can't fucking believe that. <laughs> a few too many f bombs there, mate. Let's step it down a little bit in that regard. But okay, it was I'm a good sorry. game. Like I know you played your best threat, you played your heart out. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> uh, every now and then, I just put you in your place. As we have a couple of links and banes trying to connect with these marines, Vindicta is multitasking. He's still active with these two medevacs in the bottom right side as well. As another winner, mine shot goes up. Hate me is indeed his unspent resources are a bit high this game. Still sitting on 1400 minerals there. These marines are getting awfully close to where they want to be. And that's of course the hatchery and the drone. Vindicta is playing a lovely game too here. Ain't that right, Cuckoo? Uh, I was reading chat, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Cuckoo, you have plenty of time to overcome the zero three, don't you worry? I'm sure it's that... still one. Ah. You might be able to win the next game if I go easy on you. I'll play Twilight Council for once. Yeah, I... I lost to an F1 driver, can you believe it? To a what? To an F1 driver. <laughs> an F1 driver? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, my zealots, my zealots know how to take the Apex, it is what it is. <laughs> we have a Liberator flying to the right side of the map. Sweeging up, couple of drones gonna fall with oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, we, we need to win this, man. Vindicta is good man. Vindicta has played an absolutely amazing game too. He has a big drop as well on the main base. He was just all over hate me. He set the pace from the very beginning and that one good fight at the right side where he took out all the links and he got on top of a couple of the queens. I really think that was oh. the beginning of the end and not a monstrous Widowmine connection there. Uh, I don't want to say that hate uh. me seems to struggle with Widowmines but I've yeah. seen a few too many big shots in these first two games, Cuckoo. Yeah, I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to point this because also in the first game and in this game, like the mines were, I don't know, man. Yeah. 
We obviously it, know that a big mind shot or two can always happen if games get scrappy and long and back and forth, but, yeah, but it feels that like every mind shot is cash yeah, money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. like eighty percent of the uh, of, of them were like pretty good mind shot. <laughs> yeah, pretty good is uh, indeed an understatement. One hundred seven army supply against a thirty eight. Hate means like, well, I'm hive. I've got adrenal glands, but. I believe that the kids would say that he's on some serious hopium at this point because this game is ultra over. Yeah. Surprising. I don't know, man. Oh. I was pretty confident that it was going to be over at one point, but you were just not sure yet. Ah. Uh, I know, Hate Me is good, Cosmic it's, uh, yeah, it's their map, so yeah. You never know. You never know, but I think Vindicta at this point does know. Can we get one more big Widow mine shot? Oh yes, oh we God. can, baby. <laughs> I don't know what this is, guys. It's 4th of July. These explosions are massive. Uh, it feels that the Widow mines just cannot miss. Didn't know Steph Curry turned into a Widow mine. Normally it's a queen or an investor, but today... Uh, no. Second? Okay. No, I, like... Uh, I, 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 I told that the mine is going to get friendly fire on the Marine. Well, that could have happened five times and I think Vindicta would have still been fine in that game. As the GG gets called and Vindicta ties things up. So that means that we're moving into game three. You want to stick around for game three as well, mate? Sure, mate. Let's see. Data C in 3-2-1. I'm telling you. In no way. I don't think so. I think it's going to be uh, Waterfall or Moondance. Waterfall or Moondance. It's Moondance. Oh, yeah, because that was Vindicta pick. It's okay, Cuckoo, take notes, like a 3-0 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Okay, boss. <laughs> Acceptance is starting to kick in, eh? Yeah. It's not a 3-0, but sure. <laughs> I know, Rainer. I'll, I'll behave. <laughs> uh, am I in the wrong channel? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Freaking rain. Passion is good. Freaking is good. We like freaking, Cuckoo. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with freaking. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right. Hate me is ready. Vindicta is ready. Did I host the correct server? Yes, I did. Let's go ahead and hop into Moondance for uh, the third match of the co-main event of the evening. Once this best of five is done... We will hop into Raynor versus Clem. Main event of the final edition of the Basilisk Big Brain Bouts. But I say final edition for now. Because there is a chance. that we'll, There's a good chance even. That we'll be back in a couple of weeks after DreamHack is done. And it will be... I don't want to say bigger and better and improved. But that's obviously the goal. That we're going to smoothen things out. I want an invite, thanks. You want an invite? If you beat me on the ladder, you get an invite. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Deal. Round three. Fight. In the top left side of Moondance, we're looking at the main base of the man who is a full-time teacher, part-time SC2 player, but he's still damn good at playing StarCraft. Hailing from Austria, this is Platinum Heroes Hate Me. And in the bottom right... Coming from the NA server, representing Cranky Darklings, is Vindicta. He's a teacher? I didn't know that Hayden is a teacher, man. What? Yep, he is a teacher. I'm losing to a teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh he's my probably God. welcoming class and he's firing up some replays on how he beats you. He's like, hello, students. This morning, uh, instead of making you guys <laughs> do some math or German, he fires up a little replay where he beats the hell out of Cuckoo. A bunch of seven-year-olds are very inspired each and every single day. Uh, I, 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 man, I can't let this happen again. I didn't know he's a teacher. If I knew he's a teacher, then yeah, I would have give it. Yeah, I would have take it serious, personal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's, I, sp he's I spoke with him a while ago because he was obviously uh, gone for a bit, right? And then he came back, and it actually, like, I don't know, but in f in a weird way, the break seemed to do him very well. Then I asked him, and yeah, that's when he told me that he's teaching. So 9 to 5, he's teaching some kids. Then he comes home at 7, and he takes some letter points of you. <laughs> to, like, like, to be fair, I don't remember last time I played Hayden. He probably plays under a barcode. Yes, he is a barcode. He's a 6.3k barcode, close to 6.4. Oh, that's pretty good. 
Yep. He also lost to an F1 driver. <laughs> <laughs> you beat him? Yeah, of course. Aye, aye. If I make carriers, oh, strong. <laughs> if, if I make carriers, there are very few Zergs that beat me. But I don't want to <laughs> sit there and, and spam carriers all day. Unlike you, who spams three Rex all day. Yeah, and when I didn't spam a three Rex, look what happened. <laughs> Vindicta oh, opening yeah. up with a Reaper fast expand here and a triple. No, not yet. How many links are we gonna get with the Reaper, Cuckoo? Zero. Zero links? Zero links. Why would he get zero links? Look, he's dancing with the Reaper. He's not. He's not doing anything. He's not trying. Yeah. This is. Yeah. This is just confidence, man. Not trying with the Reaper. All right, so talk to me about Moondance. This is obviously a map where if Terran players really want to turtle up to ultra late game yeah. and get a bunch of ghosts out, they can. But what are you expecting out of Vindicta here? Yeah, I mean, knowing Vindicta, I, I think he's just going to be aggressive, but I love Moondance because it's so easy to camp on it. Like, I really like this map. It's like so easy to force late game. It's so easy to get like, you know, ghosts and tors and that army composition. And it's so hard for desert to kill you. They cannot uh, run by your third base because you have the pocket third. Like overall, I think it's a very good terrain map if you want to camp on it. I also, it's good for, I also think it's good for uh, two base all ins. Mm -hmm. Because lately, I think the meta is either you go Q base or either you go for like fast 3 CCs and you camp and stuff like that. I think it's also good for Q base because it's short map and also they, you know, it's very hard for them to scout the third base. What do you make because of Vindicta's opening? Couple of Hellions and a Liberator of a double CC setup. I mean, it's the most standard thing ever. Like, he didn't even make this out of 3 CCs, like fast 3 CCs. He did it out of two bases. Like, it's the, it's the most pure thing that you can do. Basically, I don't like the opening. I think it's just better to do it with fast 3 CCs, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Vindicta yeah. is putting himself in a spot here where he clearly needs to start finding some damage as he loses the Reaper. But if we don't kill any Zerglings, or excuse me, any drones in the near future, aren't we going to be in serious trouble with how late our third CC is? Yeah, uh, yeah. L l like he really needs to do, like, you know, to get some drones here and there with the Lib, you know, get, uh, get some good trades, but yeah. I don't like I don't really like this build on this map especially like you know if you do this out of a fast 3cc opening then you don't really feel that pressure of you know you have to do damage but right now you you have that pressure on you because otherwise we are just gonna be behind well we'll see how good the multitasking and rest is going to be out of Vindicta as he's driving around the five Hellions and the Liberator is gonna make his way into the main base but the teacher is more than ready Spore Crawler in the correct spot Queen is there as well Vindicta is honestly not going to find anything here. Yeah, and 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 and, th and right now I feel like Vindicta is just behind from the start. Oh, yeah. Or am I on some cope mute? I uh, tend to agree with you on that one. Liberator did force the drones to move and the spore crawler to move for a split second. I think ideally what you're hoping for here is that at one point hate me pulls few too many queens, opens the door for these hellions. But hate me wasn't born last night. Obviously has good map vision with the overlords too. Vindicta is going to have to uh, play a game here, in my opinion, from behind. But maybe with you know the first 16 Marines, we can get something done, right? A little wombo combo, one yeah, good sure. fight, and it's his game again. Also, I think Vindicta is doing a decent job at, uh, at uh, you know keeping the creep at a decent pace. I tend to agree. With the Hellions. Um, and also, I think this map for for for, for Lib is pretty is, is pretty good. I, 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 I like I think he lost the Lib, but I feel like if you wanna play Lib on uh, on some of the new maps, this is the map because you have a lot of free space at the, at the second base to you know dance between uh, between bases and stuff. I'm still a bit confused by all of this though from Vindicta. This kind of feels that we are making life unnecessarily hard on ourselves by accepting this kind of a starting spot six minutes into the game. But well, there is potential. Let's see if we can do anything with all these Hellions. We do not have an armory, so they cannot morph into Hellbats. We still have that Liberator. This is obviously where things are going to get serious. Maybe Liberator is things, moving as well. Lip is going to siege up. Lip should no win bandits. that fight, by the way, against the Queen. So there's no a good chance that this Liberator is going to find a lot of damage. We have zero Banings. Yeah. And that Liberator, and by the way, is cash money. Yeah, I feel like, like those days were pretty good for Vindicta. Lip killed the queen and killed a couple drones, and a lot of us mining time right now. Man, the spork, uh, the, the, the spork came out from the main base to the second base. That's insane. We'll get the kill right now on the liberator. Yeah. 
Uh, it's decent, but he still needs more, though. Don't forget Did that the third base that Vindicta has obviously is a tiny pocket expand, right? With only six mineral patches instead of eight, one gas instead of two. So this is not really three base against four base. This is a lot more four base against 2.5 base. Yeah, but in the same time, look at hate me Crispet, man. This looks like a, a bit of a Demi Crispet. Why are you hating on Demi? As far as I know, no, he I'm not, I'm not. I think man, he won in the great. Basilisk Big Rain Bouts, and yeah, I believe you man, got three Demi ones. Yeah, Demi is great. Man, Demi is great. Couple of nice Widow Mine shots there for Vindicta. I was going to take a good fight on the edge of creep, and the Baneling count is dwindling, slow Banelings. Man, it, I don't want to say that Widow Mines are the weakness of hate me, but all of these mines have just yeah. been a little bit too good so far. Um, maybe I'm gonna start playing more mines against him. Hmm, maybe that's the way to take out a tissue, mate. <laughs> I just gotta find out a way to take out an F1 driver. <laughs> I think I, I think I know the way. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few reinforcements <laughs> arriving for Vindicta. 62 army supply against 67. As we throw down a scan, a few creep tumors will fall. Baning speed is done this time around though, so that should allow hate me to get mm. better fights. Widow Mines first one didn't fire, second one didn't fire. Much better fight for hate me this time around. Wow, Vindicta just got wiped, man. This went about as poor as anything could have gone for Vindicta. And well, we were wondering if things were still going alright for hate me. I think it's safe to say they are going more than alright right now. That was terrible for Vindicta. And this is still like this is still four four bases against two and a half, yeah. which I yeah. Uh, I don't think Vidicta is in, like I, I don't think he, he he's in a great spot right now. Even to it felt like he has he he had some uh, some things going in his way, but no, you cannot love this man. Him. Like you said, yeah, it's two and a half base against four, and obviously yes, we can spam mules here, and it's almost a three base, but it's still not a full three base. Vindicta seems to be a little bit off here on Mundens. It's weird. It's such a good Terran map. It feels like there were so many things mm -hmm. where he would have been able to get himself in a perfectly fine spot. But he has made life hard, and one good fight is all it really took for Hate Me to once more take a pretty commanding lead in the second game of this third best of five, the co-main event of the Basilisk Big Brain Bouts. Main event, guys, is Raynor against Clem, and it will start as soon as this series is over. I can uh, barely hear you. It seems like your microphone changed. Ooh, Widow Mind Shot! We are back! To the godlike widow mine shots, the 17 links went down there to a single widow mine shot. I don't know. Okay, should be better. Yes, I can hear you again. Mm. Yeah, like I agree with you. I feel like uh, Vindicta could have played Moon Dance in uh, in a bit in, like in better ways. I feel like he he, he chose like a very standard way. Like this like is a real Vindicta special, way. by the way. Sorry to interrupt yeah, that cuckoo, but the Vindicta absolutely loves sending two he random liberators as we are on creep. Though links and veins are trying to connect, and they will connect. And the Hydra count is high. All of the widow mines get picked off. The final widow mine doesn't get a whole lot done. And the liberator harass was lovely, but yeah, once more we get pushed back. If we do get this base completely up and running down, we are safe. I don't know, but okay, Widow Mine shot is big on the links. There are a few more Widow Mines in the mix. Those shots are actually not too hot, and that's still a decent amount of Hydras and Banes. I actually think that Hayden should go for the natural here. If he goes for the natural, there's a lot to be gained. As there is one more mine there. Don't go near the planetary in the tank. If he busts down all these depots and he just rolls the Banelings in, I feel like he would have had a lot of potential there. No, 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 I think that's going to be tough. Yeah, early. Now it is, because obviously every second that goes by is good. Few more banings. What are we gonna do? Hate me. Still, just go for the natural. There's so many SUVs here. Widow mines. Uh, we kind of. Hope. Okay. I don't think this is a good fight for Hate me. Like, uh, I don't think. Off creep, hydras, no banings. I don't think that's gonna be end well. Well, there are no manifacts to heal up these bio units in the natural. And now the floodgates are open, though. And don't forget, it's hive tech already. Adreno glance is on the way. The crap these links, send them into the pocket expand, mate. They never have any units in the pocket expand. Just sending six or seven links there would be such a sweet move. I feel that hate me is missing out on a serious opportunity there. I feel like if he would have gone for it immediately the first time, you roll two bane links all the way into the pocket. You send a couple links and banes into the natural. <laughs> it would have been good, man. Honestly, this like this feels. Uh, it starts to feel like 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 a throw. A bit. A throw. Yeah. Yeah. From Hate Me. Look at the supply. Like mm -hmm. it, it like it felt like Hate Me was so far ahead, but right now I feel like the game it's more even than uh, than it was. Yeah, no, not like, at this point. I definitely Lerker don't hate just it. Started. 
because Vindicta has his planetary fortress on location, so he actually... Uh, and I think once you have this one, it becomes a lot more doable to take the bottom base as well, or just the right side. Mm. Yeah, Lurker then just starting, but... I think with the first set of Vipers, there's still potential to get some great fights. Yeah, I agree. Also, like, the Kree spread is still, uh, like, like Vinicta still makes the, uh, you know, makes a good job at keeping the Kree spread uh, in uh, hate me half of the map, so that's always good. Yeah, yeah no, that is one thing that Vinicta has done a very efficient job at, and hate me is having a hard time bringing new queens to the front as another. Widowmine connects with a couple of Bane links. Vinicta also finds the random set of Zerg links and one Bane link that was in the mix there. These Widowmines will get picked off. I yeah, hate me is not rich, so being this far off free, being adventurous is a dangerous game. The 3 3 upgrades are about to kick in for the man from San Diego, California, as well. And that means so that Benita has a, a, he, like he has a very big bank of gas, so you know when he's gonna need to, to make ghosts, it's gonna be so easy to do that. Yes, and he is working on the Hajin Sun upgrade. Mm -hmm. You know, I know one Terran on this planet that still misses. <laughs> 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 I know what you want to say. <laughs> All right, then I'll move on. We don't mind connecting with a couple of things <laughs> there. <laughs> hey, one look at the mini map. Look at the mini map. Hate me is gonna absolutely this send is, it here, oh but into God. a planetary, into tanks. Blinding cloud is cute and all, but this feels unbreakable. This is oh, okay, that's a bit of a move command <laughs> there on bio units. I still think it's unbreakable though. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice attempt, but too ambitious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> too ambitious. <laughs> this is one of these, uh, this one is for all the kids out there. Dream big, <laughs> dream the impossible, but yeah, that's not something you break. <laughs> a Terran with a planetary fortress, Widow Mine, sends it towers, tanks, depots. No, that wasn't it. For, a, for, like, for an F1 driver, you have decent stack of two knowledge. Cheers, mate. I'm impressed. <laughs> I've got no response. Uh, Are you yeah. ever gonna play F1 with me? Uh, how much does the game cost? I can buy it for you. A gift. A Christmas uh, gift for being on Team Ruddy. So sweet. Yeah, sure. Do you have a controller? Uh, no, but I can buy one. I can take care of it. If you beat my time on Austria, I'll triple your salary. If, if, if I do what? If you beat my time trial lap in Austria, I will triple your salary. Mate, don't put me. I'm gonna try. Like, like I'm gonna grind F1. <laughs> I'm gonna two right. hours a day. That shit. <laughs> Lurkers and Hydras making yeah. their way into this planetary fortress. This really does feel like it's kind of a do or die situation for Hate Me. He needs to take out one of these bases. We have a lot of SCVs falling. Lurkers are making some progress, but not enough progress. And at this point, I think that Hate Me is going to lose a lot. Maybe on the left side? Nope, in the main base then. Man, Vidika Lost. is everywhere, man. Yeah, there's a lot of fighting happening. Obviously, ooh, we can get the Lurker then. That's big. Which Lurker upgrades do we have? We've got both of them. But still, picking up the Lurker then is always nice. 17 SCV. It didn't really feel like 17 SCVs to me. Nice little double drop. Nice assist. attempt as well oh in the main God. base. I mean, this double drop of Vindicta is... How many sweet, Lurkers though? does Hate Me has? How many lurkers? Yeah. He's got Oh, he zero. has zero lurkers. Oh, then what he would have done with that? Like, he would have uh, just dropped zerlings in the main base, I guess? I think it's just to create chaos as well, right? Sometimes just yeah, dropping a nidus for the sake of dropping Yeah, it's a very nidus. distracting. It's yeah. like so distracting. Ooh, matter of fact, lives. That one doesn't. Four marines will die, but the other eight marines are <laughs> Hate me is probably like unbelievable. Two <laughs> HP left on that matter of fact. And that does mean that all of these Marines are going to show up in the pocket expand one more time. And we lost a couple of extra rounds. So we are now working on our Ghost. As we have Liberators and Tanks on the map. I mean, Hate Me has even got his hands on this base that you almost see nobody ever mine from in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Especially at this time. Yeah, 17 minutes in. <laughs> center base. Usually you see the other one or the yeah, like right corner you one. Just, you just go down, yeah. right? Or you go in the top right, but... <laughs> Vindicta throws down the screen, he's like, what? That one? <laughs> hey, <he's> like, <laughs> yeah. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> Liberators with out advanced ballistics. I thought we had a fusion core. No, I guess it was, nope. no fusion core, guys. A lot of lips, no advanced ballistics, though. No. Widow mine shot is decent. I mean, actually good, but compared to the rest of the widow mine shots, it's decent. 
He's with on my shots. Actually not getting too much down. Finally, we're splitting off a couple of links. This is what I wanted to see earlier. Because you can get on top of all the SMVs in the natural lurk. I don't think this is a good fight for hate me, man. You don't think it is or it is? No, 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 I don't think it is. All right, well, I think he's just going to get aim move. Well, let's see. So far, it doesn't really look like he's getting a move, mate. It seems that Vindicta is getting absolutely obliterated by Lurkus and Lynx, since there's still a couple of Lynx that run into the pocket. Okay, there is I a little... I think that was the definition of getting a move, mate. Wait, what, what game are you watching, Cuckoo? Uh, the, the one that you're shitting to me. <laughs> the, one, the one game that you think Vindicta is absolutely crushing hate me. Is that the game you're watching? The, the, the Mundes one, yes. Okay. I don't think that was all that bad for hate me, mate. Uh, I mean, it was not that bad, but you made it feel like hate me is gonna win with that push. No, no, no! Don't put this on me. You made it move like hate me was losing every single unit, and he didn't kill anything. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's taking down SCVs in three different bases, getting goes and getting tanks. Uh, okay, F1 uh, F1 player. All right. Well, let's see how this game plays out. No, the stakes. Well, are... well, don't get me wrong. Hate me is ahead, man. He has 3k in the bank. He's Jeff Bezos. So, so what is happening according to you, Cuckoo? Please talk to us. <laughs> well, according to me, <laughs> the Vindicta took a good trade. Okay, Vindicta but took a good trade, able. but he's still <laughs> losing. Yeah, now he's getting able, sadly. No, now he's actually fine. Oh my no, god, Kuku, you don't know anything about this game. Like, that no, was actually man. a much better <laughs> fight. He's on the high ground, off creep, the tanks are surviving, the planetary is surviving, all the marines are surviving. Jeez, no, Louise, he's winning, I told you. I honestly think if I get you glasses, you might become the best Iron player in Europe, because the only thing that's <laughs> holding you back is that you're blind. I think so. <laughs> Look where he's putting him back. Like, like he's, he, yeah, he's forcing him back. He's taking... Uh, yeah, man, he's winning. I told uh, you. We have a blinding hey, cloud going home. down. Blinding cloud has a bit of potential. Hate me still has a lot of uh, minerals in the bank, not too much gas. There's a little right that's out of range, but this seems like one hell of a Terran army. That final fight up that ramp was a disastrous <laughs> fight. <laughs> that was not the fight where he got a move. That was the fight where actually Vindicta did fantastic. We do have Burrowed Infestors, and Hate me is going to try to set up a little bit of a surround. We take care of the tanks at the bottom. Widermine shot is good though on the banings. Blinding clouds are decent. I hate yeah, but this. it feels like... Yeah. Okay, it's, okay. A, it's a scrap. That's what it is. Man, it's what a, a game. It's a proper scrap on a fight night. Guys, big shout out to Rothy, man. He has big brain. Look at these games. He's making them. Yeah, that's a like, lot of look drones, at how many by the way. Hit that's so many drones. Imagine if a uh, Widow Mine shot would have gone up. 41 yeah. drones oh my being god. sent to one Oh way. my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... All right, Hate Me has had enough More time bank. right now to spend his bank, but I think it's safe to say that he is not going to be able to take another fight like the one he took over here again, because he does not have the bank anymore. Now Vindicta is actually the one mining from one of the center bases. And he's Man, got Vindicta is securing that base. Yeah. I think he has a pretty good chance of turning this back. I absolutely agree. I, at this point, I love the game for Vindicta. Uh, I knew it, man. <laughs> you knew it, but it's in the <laughs> wrong sequence of events. But it doesn't matter, Cuckoo. Yes, you were right. Let's just I know. Let's just pretend you had a soul read on all these fights, okay? As always. <laughs> 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 like you were right until you <laughs> said that you weren't right anymore. That's actually... <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. We could still obviously have some crazy things happening. Both players have comeback tools available. We have fungals. We have tanks, liberators. We have goals with Hajin Sun upgrades. And we've got lurkers, baby. One fungo completely whips, the other one does connect. The third one is not too bad either. Somewhat promising for Hate Me here. He's gonna push Vindicta back at first, but... A oh, Raven? Oh my god! Man, Vindicta is listening to the Reddit and the Twitch chat to make a Raven against Lurkers. That's insane, man. Oh, sometimes Reddit is onto something, mate. They also think Liberators are great against Carriers, and they were right. They suck. That's so good. What? No, there's no way. This was only in unit tester, mate. Come on. <laughs> there's no way. Couple of oh Marines God, running cool to the left man. side, taking out a Queen, taking out a couple of drones as well. Lovely little positioning here. Now that's the big rain play that we're looking for, Vindicta. Reduce the amount of surface area of the links. Of course, the Lurker will clean it up in the end, but just a little bit of extra value. Make sure that these attacks last a bit longer. Man, yeah, this is actually a close game, eh? Yeah, like, 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 did, did the series, man, are crazy. 
Yeah. Roddy did a good job today, didn't he? Yeah. What a guy. Only Hitiba was a banger. Yep. This series is a banger. The next one is going to be a banger as well, 100%. Yeah. Clan peaks past midnight, so should be good. Couple of links <laughs> and Hydra is going to try to run past this uh, setup of Vindicta. I kind of like this, man. Just strike through the middle. If a lot of the defenses are on the left side and the right side, why don't we get a couple of links with plus three and Adreno glands on top of their structures? Even though that's another big widow mine shot. This is chaotic. It almost feels yeah, like he's still. He's yeah, he, yeah, go ahead. But he started to again get that kind of bank. And Vindicta doesn't have that. You know, 3k minerals against like 300. But oh, Raven, the Raven uh, reveals the Burrow Defest, but he still oh. lands a big fungal. Uh, and the Widow Mine shot blows no. up the Ghost and the Medivac and the Marines. Wow, crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I think that was the first bad Widow Mine shot in this game. Well, obviously, I'm exaggerating, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. One fungal lands, a couple of and on left. Fungal and Blinding Cloud <laughs> oh on the right side as well. Should turn this into a promising fight. Anti armor missile landing. Man, this is uh, this is madness. These two guys are swinging for the fences. Feels like it's all offense, no defense at this point. And Vinny is playing really well, man. Like really well. Yeah. He like I don't know his TVZ is so good. It, it's uh, so good because Hate Me is proper good in TVZ. I'm not kidding. I believe it. For a teacher, especially, right? Yeah, especially for a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is not bad at all. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to see him try to break this though. Like, just try to break literally any other spot than this. Like, I do not believe that this is breakable. He's still making yeah, Ravens, flame. by the way. Yeah, triple. Blue Flame actually. Helbets would be so good here. Triple Raven. I agree. Triple Raven. Well, uh, that's some NA brain right there. You don't see this stuff in Euro, eh? This is also a lovely little move by Vindicta, casually splitting off a few by units, getting on top of this hatchery. And this might actually trigger to make hate me the attack that I do not believe he should make. He's gonna drop lightning clouds, but mind, there mind. are tanks, oh. Widow Mind! Oh. <laughs> no, 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 oh Infestor's running into that death as well. Uh, I think that's it, man. I think Vindicta wins the game right here. This is the one spot oh you cannot God. attack, mate. Jeez. He, he could not attack there. <laughs> Man, he just lost all the patient. Like, oh my. Yeah, I think it's the drop, man. The drop is what tilted him. He lost the hatch. He's like, all right, you take my base, I take yours. But that was Fort Knox. You don't break into that. Yeah. That was, that was almost as worse as the 360 surround at the four base. Yeah. Of Vindicta. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of banelings trying to connect. Nice micro by Vindicta here towards the end, even though his units have like one it's HP. But he's still splitting. He did lose a lot there. He did lose a lot. He steamed a lot. He lost a lot. But there's so many reinforcements on the way for our Terran player, taking a 22 army supply advantage. Still has a Raven in the mix. There is one Lurker. Still defending a base in bottom left side. A few more Lurkers are all morphing. Lurkers Ooh, we get a cancel on a couple of them. We get a cancel on all of them. Widow the Mines! <laughs> oh! Blowing nothing. And Viper's in the mix, but they can't do anything. A parasitic bomb on the Raven. He may as well. Raven dies. Scrappy fight here, but nice micro by Vindicta again, saving the majority of his buy units. And that is going to go, do it. Man. After 26 minutes, That's it's Vindicta who gets the 2 1 lead. Sick game. Honestly, very, I'm very impressed. Game. I'm impressed by Vindicta TVT. That means it is mess point for our American Terran player. He needs one more. And if he does win, that means that after this, we are going to get ready for the main event of the evening. That is Raynor versus Clem. Uh, good, uh, good series. Good scrap between these two. Very fun. Really good. Tropical. Aye, aye. Mm -hmm. I want it. Tropical is, is uh, I don't know, man. I, like I never win TVs on Tropical. All right, let me just go ahead and fire Pro up. Series with the 10 gifty subs. Let's go, guys. Thank you, mate. You can do my thing while I'm hosting the game, okay? Let's go, guys. Big shout out to Basilisk for the 10 gifty subs. Don't forget, <laughs> guys, exclamation mark Basilisk on the chat if you wanna if you wanna throw a look at their Twitter account and follow them, of course, and tell them uh, how much you appreciate that they put up these fights for us. Good job. I'm not bad at this stuff. 
I am just gonna go ahead and get this game going because I don't want to make it. It's already we're 21 minutes behind schedule and we have at least one more game to go, if not two more. But uh, it's all good. Clem is a warrior of the night, and Raynor has nothing to complain about because he's getting treated like a king over here in Zeitland. So tonight I'm not too stressed over the time, but obviously I want to have a good series. It's fine. Clem is just waking up right now. Yeah, I he's know. Probably no. taking Clem a shower. is loving this. Clem is like, <laughs> damn it, I overslept. It's like it's okay, Clem. Like, we're starting a bit later tonight. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Players are ready. I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. So, guys, uh, like Cuckoo said, exclamation mark Basilisk in the chat will give you guys a link to their Twitter account. And in that Twitter account, you guys can obviously follow them. And what you guys could also do, and you would do me and all the StarCraft nerds out there a big favor, is maybe like a tweet like this, uh, respond to us, and just be like, hey, I had an absolute blast watching these basilisk big brain bouts over the last four weeks the games have been awesome the vibe has been awesome uh we love it and i hope to see more in the future so that is a way where you don't have to spend any money you don't have to do anything and that is just a, a free way to support this tournament series and make sure that we get more starcraft out of them but honestly they love starcraft they're so passionate they're always ready they always want to talk to me about starcraft and that makes me happy so show them some love if you can if you have a twitter account for now, we're going to go ahead and hop into game four of these two awesome StarCraft 2 players. Round four. Fight. Go, go. You want to do both intros, Cuckoo, so you give me mm. a break? Okay, sure. We need to give the old man a break, guys. You know how it goes. <clears throat> in, the top right, uh, in, in, in the top right corner, representing Platinum Heroes, hang me. Man, I'm so bad at this stuff. What is for me to do this way? First, you're bashing the old man, and then you realize that the old man's job ain't yeah, that man. easy. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, You do this. You All know. right. In the bottom <laughs> left side, we're looking at the main base of the lover of Mamacitas, representing the cranky ducklings. They call him Vindicta because he is carrying his team in the WTL. This is Vindicta, Miguel. Let's go. Taking the 2 1 lead as we get a little raid from my good friend, my pal, Cell. Up at Zelda, hope you had a phenomenal stream, amigo. Welcome. You are getting ready for at least one more TVZ, maybe two more TVZs, and after that, uh, Raynor versus Clem, best of five. So I, I don't want to say this will be event. better than Dreamhack, guys, but there is a chance it will be better than Dreamhack tonight. This is basically a Dreamhack final, guys. <laughs> it could very well be a preview basically. for the final two, yeah. three weeks from now, yes. That's how big this is. All right, Cuckoo. So, so far, you have done an amazing job in basically calling everything wrong. And there is no shame in that, mate. That happens to me. <laughs> I very... said Nikta is going to win that game like 20 minutes before he won, he won the game. <laughs> yes, but then right when he was actually <laughs> winning, you said he wasn't winning anymore. So, you've lost all your credits. But Are you questioning my game knowledge? Absolutely, yes. I'm like, five, five, I'm like one came and might above you, Roti. How can you? <laughs> You're not, and you know that. <laughs> I'm like one came and might above you. Oh, my God. <laughs> In your sweet baby dreams, man. <laughs> On your best day, you're 12 MMR <laughs> above me, and that's that's when I take it easy. Never saw you at 6-3, mate. That's true. I haven't seen you at 6-3 either, though. <laughs> Not yet, though. No, same. So, oh, my God. What is this? <laughs> you're making a flex and you can't even flex. You've never been 6-3. <laughs> what is I'm this? I'm talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you picked at right now? 6260 or 6250. Yeah, that's like lower that. than my pick. Uh, what? No, that is no way, man. 6274. I never, I never seen you at 60. Yeah, man, it doesn't count when you were like 20, man. <laughs> it doesn't count that. <laughs> that doesn't even matter. All right, enough about me and my MMR. Talk to me about TVZ, Tropical <laughs> Sacrifice. Hate Me is down 1 to 2. He's on two hatcheries, Cuckoo. We're three minutes and 20 seconds into the game. Why is he on two hatcheries? Uh, well, Vinita actually, like I, like I didn't pay that much attention to Vinita opening, but he had one two Reapers. So I guess uh, he probably struggled taking the, the third base until now. We also Vindicta blocked the, the, the third hatchery, supposedly the ACV also ho ho uh, opened double Reapers, so maybe because of that, he just struggled uh, getting out with the drone. Ooh. We're gonna get a oh, bunker up. Interesting. That could be big if it goes up. They can be very annoying. Because then we're gonna have like Hellions and Vikings showing up. I like these builds that Vindicta is busting out Ooh, tonight. It's a bit of maybe. everything. 
No, no, no. I think this is very smart by Vindicta because if you did, if, if you paid attention, Hate Me played double evolution chamber before bailing nest in almost all the games. So that's a very greedy approach of the TVZ. So I think like I really like this man. I think yeah. Vindicta is just gonna stay up to win the game. This is gonna be hard. Like you don't normally no talk about a Zerg player struggling to get a third hatchery up. There's an armory on the way as well. Hate Me is setting up a tiny Ling run by, but Vindicta is all over this one too. As he left Ooh. a couple of Hellions, we are going to have to micro... Before Hellions is more than enough here. It's more than enough. It's, mate, I think Vinita is just going to win. There is no Bailings on the way. Like, I don't think uh, you can yeah. hold this kind of push without Bailings. You can hold it if Vindicta messed up. If he's messing up the micro, then yeah, but... It's going to be tough. How many Zerlings does he have? Yes, seven Queens do. Yep. Seven, seven Queens, queens. he's going up to nine. He's got 26 <laughs> links. But if we take a look at the scouting of Hate Me, other than the fact that he saw, like, the double Reaper and the Hellions, he maybe saw the Viking if he was truly paying attention, but nothing shows us right now that he knows, right? Yeah. Nothing like, shows us double that he evolution. knows. Mate, he's dead. He's dead. He, he went double evolution chain, but he doesn't have bailings. Right. If you say he's dead, I assume that we are hopping into game five in the near future. Because I think crazy things are going to happen, but obviously <laughs> memes aside, it does seem that Hate Me is in all sorts of trouble. He needs to kill the Medivac too, and he cannot kill the Medivac. Hellbats are getting healed up. A couple of Hellbats have fallen. But there is a lot of healing potential. This is nice queen micro though, to be fair. Yeah, he split him. What? He's not it? <laughs> <laughs> Can we transfuse the queens, hate me? That's the big question. Oh, I feel like there was a way to save that queen. There was a way to save that queen too. Am I crazy or what? No, this queen had energy. But he holds. He lost a lot of queens, but he holds. And he could have actually really saved two more off. queens, man. He could have literally saved two more queens. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, like usually when they go down with evolution chamber, they die. But hate me is just a god. Power of being a teacher. The power of being a teacher. Do you know what he's like teaching? I think he's teaching elementary school. Oh, okay. So kids. Nice. And he's working overtime and he's teaching you a ladder late at night on the ladder. <laughs> a lesson, rather. Sorry. <laughs> teaching you. A I lesson. mean, I don't know when I'm playing him, man. <laughs> That's true. Barcodes. Barcodes. Barcode games don't count. We have a Liberator showing up in the natural. And the queen count is obviously low, so we cannot mess up with our queens here. We don't want to lose another one. Like, it, it was funny how that worked out, right? Because on one hand, it was a great hold. And on the other hand, it's like, man, it could have been even better. <laughs> like, there were two <laughs> very obvious transfuse um, abilities there. But in the end, it was still a pretty damn sexy hold. Yeah, like, hate me. He's, he, like, he's 100% ahead from all of this stuff. Well, but let's see that like the mind follow-up it's uh is, is there i like this i like some mudas in this Ooh. matchup cuckoo it's been a while yeah i mean on this map oh this is bad though he's gonna Ooh. lose one queen he might lose oh uh, uh, what that was in range Ooh. man it touched the circle look at the oh i thought that's a mind drop never mind there's a mine in the mix there is a mine in the mix. The mine is gonna be raw mine. No. Oh my god, I wanna close my eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is every mine shot so big in this best of five? Oh, 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 oh my god. Like I don't think hate me yeah, I don't think he practiced a lot against mines. He probably everybody like everyone on Europe plays tanks. So probably this is why. <laughs> Eighteen drones, mate. Eighteen yeah. drones at once in the production tab. Yeah, but I think that's good. Yeah, I like it. I know, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's a lot. <laughs> nice yeah, creep as well, move. by the way. We're working on a nice little that, Austrian autobahn in the center of the map. Uh, did Vindicta see the Spire there with his drop? Yes, he did, if he was paying attention. So that's big too. Yep, I agree. Also, like, like look at that. Plus two, plus two is starting already for Hate Me. And he's not, he, he's not starting for Vindicta. Nope. That's Vindicta has an, an uh, arm he has an armor, you never yes, mind. Cause he because made, he, he made a hellbat push, Cuckoo, so... He has cloak mines and he made a hellbat push, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, that happens to me as well, where it's like... like you don't see 2-2, two -two, you're like, does he have an armory? And then you forget about the fact that he attacked with 9 hellbats in the beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're setting up a mind drop in the top side of the map. And we also have a mind drop in the bottom right. And these no are all spore. permanently cloaked boys. No spore, only two overseers. It's gonna hurt, I think, minus oh my 12 drops. 12, 11. Okay. I was closed. I was closer. What did you say? Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I can 
I can tell you that I was closer than you. <laughs> I have a hard time believing that. We have another minor back <laughs> hopping into the main base. One drone. No. Oh, hey, 12 in the end. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, what? Too late. All right. Oh, they're going to fire. They're going to fire. The cooldown is over. Go That's going to hurt. Go 8. Ooh, ah, 17. What? 17 is big. That was actually a shame that that one mine shot at the uh, Overlord or Overseer or whatever it was. Otherwise, yeah. it would have been big, man, because all the drones were very clumped up because of this spore crawler. Yeah, but I feel like, uh, be like because the Hellbit which didn't make that much damage, I feel like right now, man, mate, we have 12 mines. Jeez Louise. I just noticed that. Like, the four base is very late. This is what I wanted to point out. Yeah, but I like this a lot Hellbit more push. right now for Vindicta, though, because yeah, Hate agree, Me is playing uh, Middle Link Bane, but he's not attacking at all. He doesn't have a great economy. And uh, he's... Yeah, I feel like he's absolutely losing his mojo in this game. And also, it's going to be very hard for Hate Me to use his mutas offensively, because I feel like Vindicta is just keep on sending uh, mind drop after mind drop, so he needs to keep the mutas at home to, to deal with that. Yeah, so as long as the mutas... Nobody has ever made mutas to just deal with that stuff, no? Yeah, exactly, but he has to, because otherwise, how he's going to kill the mind drops? How many overlords do you think he's going to make by the time the overlords hatch? I am, I'm predicting eight. So we have four right now. I think he's going to make four more. It's I gonna... think he's just going to stay with four. What a call. <laughs> no, ah, yeah, it was going up. No, I saw a five. I saw a five. I saw a five. You saw it too. What I saw? Yeah, the, no, count no, no. the counter went off. You know it. No, no, no. I don't know it. Five spines, man. Giga chat. move. I lost to a Is guy today on the ladder class? called Giga Chat. <laughs> oh, that was my smurf. I highly doubt it. He played good. <laughs> Can be. <laughs> Maybe the people are gonna believe you. Man. Like Eight hundred people. Like I, like I can play next time when I turn on the stream. They are gonna like we. Oh, yeah. What MMR are you again? Master three. Cuckoo. I've, ne nice I've never called again. you Master Tree Cuckoo. Yeah, yeah, but that's what people understand when I'm telling you. No. I'm just only telling the facts that I'm 3 0 against you in the last two days. You are not 3 0, mate. Show the replays. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> show the replays. <laughs> Ooh, nice Muta micro here oh by uh, Hate Me. Very nice. Bro. Actually, that oh, was very sweet. Mark? Took a little while, but it was sweet. Vindicta is moving out with an army that consists of a couple of Widow Mines, Marines, and Big Daddy Thor in the mix. Hate Me has 87 drones, pretty sweet bank. The spine's actually coming in handy just to buy a little bit of time. Baneling count 32 at this point. Do we like that, Cuckoo? Ooh, I like yeah, this, what? by the way. I I, I, sorry, I was reading chat. 112 links. Okay, this is going to be a big fight. Mudas absorbing some tension. I like the trail of Widow Mines, man. That's so sweet. This, yeah, this flank is going to backfire. We're going to get some big mine shots. Here we go. Hate Me is oh coming my. in from two angles, but oh Big Daddy mines are everywhere. Actually, not the biggest ah, shot yet. Not that big. No, not the biggest shot yet. Nice micro, though, still by Vindicta. Not too many Banelings remaining. Save the Thor as well. In the end, he does lose the majority of his Marines. That fight somehow went even. <laughs> mm, yeah, but now that I'm thinking, uh, what's... Like, these games are played on this, no? Yes, US maybe East. this is yeah. Maybe this is why Hate Me is not. Uh, it's, it's like taking so many mine shots. Mm, East is playable. Let's be real. Oh, oh, the Umbro. Yeah. No friendly fire. Man, that Thor. By the way, that Thor has seven lives. It's being saved a couple of times. Now it finds oh a queen God. and a couple of blings, but it gets picked up again. Vindicta is taking care. Oh, careful with the widow mine shots. Taking care of. Oh, there's so many mines! Oh, oh no. my God. I'm telling you, man. No, 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 I'm telling you, there is something. No, that has nothing to do with ping. He runs into 12 mines, Cuckoo. Yeah, that is man. not ping. Okay. M mines are just too good, man. Mines are very good. We're kind of forgetting about a Viper, too. I mean, Vindicta is just. Uh, the, the, the way that he saved that Thor, by the way, five times is big. But plus three melee is done right now. Nice with a mine shot there. But Ultras are big. Can we save the Thor? He's just playing a minigame right now. He wants to save the Thor forever. <laughs> no, I swear to God. Vindicta is going to lose this game because he's trying to keep his Thor alive. You see? He dropped uh, it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, Vindicta always prefers, uh, apparently, to go leave. Like, he's always making the ghost so late against the hype tech. Like, again, he, he knows that Ultras are on the map, but he prefers making, like, Marauders and leads. I don't know. I feel like most of the Terran players will just go straight up in making ghosts here. I kind of enjoy this style more though. I hate the ghosts. Yeah, I think it's more fun to play also and to watch it. 
then just making ghost and pew pew pew. Yeah, but then I do think that you want to get maybe a fusion core a bit quicker in defense ballistics as a few more mines get taken now. They're not a big steam. The medevacs are working overtime here. Not too much energy left. I would like to see a power bomb and just throw in a random power bomb there on these medevacs. Make the damage stack up. I think it's sweet. Do we have Burrow on the side of Hate Me? No, we don't. We have a Nidus network going up in the main base though. Yeah, I think it's uh, empty. But it's not. There's no, it's not. Uh, Zerlings. Okay. But nothing comes out. <laughs> Man, these games today. These have been some good games, eh? Uh, I, th I, 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 I think then a white of SC3 is just too good, man. <laughs> Big brain. Yeah, really fun matches today. I think out of all the nights so far, these have been the most closely uh, contested. To be honest, when I, like when I saw that Eva plays only hit, I thought that that's a bit uh, like easy for Eva, but it turned out to be a very competitive series. Yep, one ultra dies. Nice micro down a parasitic bomb. We really want that planetary, but it feels like an awkward fight in the end. Plus three links and ultras will be good enough to take out the planetary, but at the same time, Del Vindicta with a couple of marines in the bottom right He's side. Yep, it's taking out a hatchery. So it's a base for a base, an eye for an eye. I'd love to see Burrow here, man. Why are we building a spire, by the way? We have a spire. Hate me. You made with us. What are we doing? What is this? Why are Wildlife we building... with the five gifty subs. Let's go. <laughs> okay. thank, thank you. Why Maybe I get that raise, guys. Let's go. Okay, he canceled the spire. <laughs> Hate me suddenly just realized that he already has a spire, so he cancels the spire. Fires up a couple of corruptors to deal with them liberators. What is this? Just an overseer few widow mines in the mix i mean you can really see that it's obviously a late for hate me but b if these are just stressful games and if you are stressful games you forget about some obvious things like the fact that you already have a spire but he cancelled it so that's good i think i still can win this game he can 100 still, still win this game i i never i would never fight you over that i think it's been hey you want to guess units lost resource tab cuckoo tell me who has lost more resources and how big is the difference? I haven't shown I mean, it in Hade a very long time. More resources. I hate we lost 100% more resources. Okay, Probably how many like, more? Uh, I don't know, 4,000 maybe. Okay, so it's kind of close. Well, I'll let okay. chat guess as well as we have a couple of Vinaman shots going off on Corruptors and Vipers. But hate me takes out the Liberators. And just when Cuckoo said Vindicta can absolutely still win this game, it feels that Vindicta is close to being forced to tap out here. As there are so many Lynx Banes, we're running back to the Planetary Fortress, but when the Bane Lynx get this close, not even the Planetary can yeah. save you, or maybe it can. Maybe it can, Caustic Spray being used during all of this, and the PF will hold Vindicta Hulsh Stunt, but is it good enough? All right. How many resources has Hate Me lost more? Get in your final guess right now. Okay, 5k. You say 5k? Yeah, I think it's mm. a good guess. It's uh, 7.5. Mm. Close. White Tiger Live guess 9k. He was closer than you. We have Marine Lord in the chat as well. Uh, nice. I haven't seen Marine Lord in ages, man. Yeah. What do you think of Marine Lord? Do you think he's going to win the Bolo Lolo Lolo tournament? Is the Red Bull one? Mm hmm. Yeah, like I, like I don't, I'm not following Age of Empires that close, but I know that he's one of the best in Age of Empires, so maybe. Do you think he can take out the bald man? Uh, no, I don't think so. Like, like from as far as I heard, like I didn't watch anything, I heard that uh, Marine Lord is better than uh, the bald man. I think it's fake news. Oh, uh, this is what I heard at least. <laughs> That's a big widow mine shot. Not the first one, we're gonna get a few more, but I think Hate Me is doing a very good job in shutting down the economy of Vindicta. Then again, Vindicta with his final few units, getting another pickoff on another hatchery in the bottom right side. I mean, he's battling, man. Miguel is absolutely battling here, but since this is not a planetary, I have a hard time believing that those fights are gonna be anywhere near as good as over here. Yeah, well, I think he's gonna go to a game five. Yeah. Like to be honest, I, like like I would really like to see Vindicta adding goes much faster. Like for me, 18 minutes into the into this game and he has no goals. Like I think Mixu said in the chat that I'm adding goals at eight minutes to the oh. game. He's maybe pushing it a bit, but oh. another big shot. But hate me does deny this base. In the chat someone's asking when is Rainer versus Clem? After this best of five is done, mate. <laughs> so as soon like as this best of five is over, we will fire up Rainer versus Clem. A so little bit of Midnight Stalker. A banger, guys. 
absolute banger. I think Reyna is gonna. I mean, like, I feel like. Uh, uh, who, who do you think he wins the main event? I don't know. I just hope for good games, Cuckoo. I am completely neutral. Okay. Alright, this could be yeah. the final fight. Hey, Vindicta does have 130 army supply. And actually has a crazy amount of bio. Nice blending cloud actually on these bio units. Do, why don't the Corruptors just go for something as Ultras are gonna try to get on top of the bio. The Corruptors will go for the Metavax and I don't really hate that because Vindicta is gonna have a very hard time replacing those Metavax. Most fight. of the links and main links have disappeared but the supply does not lie. Hate me is still going strong at 191. Vindicta 95, Queens were even working on the orbital. Vindicta throws down his scan and is like, do you have that base? And yes, he does, but at the same time, he doesn't. We must have some good oversaturation happening somewhere, no? Am I crazy or what? Nah, he's transferring drones right now. 23 in top right. So that base and these is... these guys are fighting, man. Yeah, they're warriors. battling. Absolute warriors. <laughs> I like this bunker. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like. I actually think it's very cool. Is it's like I'm also doing it against sometimes against Nidus. I think if you do this and you put like two marauders inside, you never need to bother about the Nidus anymore. The Nick has no more Metavax, man. He's got two right now. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to heal up this entire army if it stims one or two more times. Hate me is sending in a couple of stray units to activate those with my shots, and Hate me says, "All right, I made sure that you can take that base. Now it's my base." And here we go one more time fighting over a pf that isn't really even all that important anymore hate me doesn't have to make this attack but he will do it because he knows that he is this far ahead and these ultras will go strong final medivax have gone down final few buy units will fall caustic spray versus repair but vindicta is broke cannot repair anymore i think that's all she wrote mate i think we are going into a game five cuckoo yeah you think so i think it's over GG gets called. Oh. The teacher ties things up. And we will hop into a decider between these two. So that means one Data more C. game before we hop into Raynor versus Clem. I'm actually curious. What? Wait, what did the Vindicta vet out? Because we played both Cosmic and uh, Tropical. Then he vetoed wait. Data C, mate. Yeah, I mean, usually you don't veto Data C. I can ask. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but like, I mean, maybe that's just me because you know, maybe Vinicta doesn't like to camp, so this is why he, he vetoed that AC. Yeah, I will ask for confirmation, amigo. All right, the boys are. Waterfall? That's what they said. Waterfall. I, th I think Vinicta is not too based on him. All right, Vindicta says he's ready. Maybe Proxy Rex. It's possible. Mm, maybe. All I, right, to guys. Be, to be fair, I've never seen Vindicta Proxy Rexing. Hmm. All right, so Hate Me says one sec. I'm going to go ahead and take one sec as well. So basically a one-minute break. In that one-minute break, if you guys want to make me happy, what you guys can do is do exclamation mark basilisk in the chat. If you do that, it will show up a Twitter link. If you click on the Twitter link, it will take you to their profile. If you guys want more pro, uh, StarCraft 2 out of these awesome dudes from NA, then go ahead, give their account a follow, and Bad do me a favor this. and send Bad a little tweet. <laughs> Cuckoo, <laughs> you have to understand that you can't shout over me when I'm talking. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I will give you one minute right now to hype up Basilisk, but guys, go ahead and give them a follow on Twitter. Respond to the tweet about the Basilisk Big Brain Bouts. This is our main event that's starting right after this series is over. Tonight, I think, has been awesome. Really good StarCraft. Shout out to all the co uh, competitors so far. I will take a little break, but Cuckoo will shout Basilisk for you guys and interact with the chat. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys. Any questions? Any questions, guys? Guys, I would... Um... I would uh, advertise my Twitch channel, but I'm not gonna do that. It's kind of like 14, no, claim is 20, I think. Kuku, did you watch my games? What did you think? I think you played pretty well, Toddy. GG's. Kuku, when you are gonna get eight accounts to jam? Um, I'm not playing on that many accounts. I play, you know, I play on my main account and I have my streaming account, which is called Kaki. Okay, Marine Lord, I would block you. <laughs> <laughs> a freaking marine lord man how is it to have roti as a father uh could be better man maybe better
I'm kidding. It's it's pretty good. Pretty good life. How is it to be in Team Roti? It's pretty good. I love Team Roti. It's like being 0 T to Roti. I'm not 0 3 to Roti, guys. Don't listen to all of this. To, to all of the... Like, all of the me old man says. I'm like 2-1 to him. Like, 101 to be fair. How, how do you beat carriers, Uteran? Uh, you can check your thermal video. Uh, is it called How to Beat Skytos? That's that's what you should do. Why did you choose the name Cuckoo? Uh, family friends starts calling me Cuckoo. Three ads in my face. Maybe Submarine Lord and you don't get any ads. He's yeah. Gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's okay. that big well, Both players are ready. To start off game five, as Raynor just actually fell down the stairs, guys. I s <laughs> gave, gave me a minor heart attack. I suddenly hear boom, 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 boom. Look over. He's just smiling. Says it's okay. Because Raynor, unlike normal people, does not walk downstairs. Raynor has a tendency to be dancing down the stairs. Boop, boop, boop. He does this at 9 a.m. as well. I always wake up. He jumps from three, and every now and then it goes wrong. And he just fell down the final five stairs. But... He seems to be okay. He's still in good spirits. So we still have a main event tonight. Uh-oh. The boys are leaving town. Anyway, enough about Rainer falling downstairs. Mm. Let's go ahead and enjoy the final game of this awesome best of five. As the boys are leaving town. In the bottom left side, we're looking at the main base of the teacher from Austria. Representing Platinum Heroes. This is Hate Me. Cuckoo, what is this man doing? And where is he from? And who is he representing? He's from... California, I think, and representing Cranky Ducklings, he is Wing Dicta. Carrying right? the Cranky Ducklings in the WTL, yes indeed, mate. Mm. San Diego, beautiful city, much better than LA, if I may say so. One day, Cuckoo, you. when you're a successful pro gamer and you're traveling around the world, you will visit both cities and you'll be like, you know what? Roddy was right, San Diego is way better than LA. Stormgate, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, it's not an all-out uh, three racks, four racks, one base, but it is still proxy two racks. We are gonna drop a gas behind it, so there is obviously a way to transition out of this. Just ask Maru. Hate me is getting a little bit unfortunate with the Overlord scouting so far, Cuckoo. Pretty good position huh? of the barracks. I do not serve. I have zero affiliation with them these days. Uh, I mean, to be fair, like I, like I never proxy in TVZ, so I don't know how to feel about it. Every time when I proxy, it goes wrong. Well, hate me could not have scouted this any later if he tried. Oh my god, even the bunker is going up in Fog of War. Mm -hmm. This has to be problematic. This has to be... I think that's the best case for Vindicta. Yes. <laughs> if, I'm, if I may say. <laughs> Cuckoo with a hot take, guys. Bunker goes up <laughs> in Fog of War, completely undetected, two wrecks. Best case scenario for Vindicta. I tend to agree. We're going to drop double spine on the high ground. The problem is though, losing this hatchery would be disastrous because there is a gas at home. This is not three racks, double four spine. racks. I think, that's, I think that's overreacting, mate. No? Yeah. I mean, in this case, you might just go to... Uh, I think Hate Me is in uh, all sorts of trouble here. The teacher has played an awesome best of five, but game five could very well come to an ugly ending here, man. Wait. Man, if Vindicta wins this, I'm gonna be surprised. I predict the 3 0 for Hate Me. Well, I think I like betting uh, on Vindicta at this point, mate, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, like, I also can, uh, like, I also would like to bet to bet on Vindicta at this point. Sadly, I bet like 100k channel points on Hate Me. <laughs> it's okay, just tier 3 sub, you're gonna back quickly. Can someone give me a tier 3 maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Bunkers are still <laughs> up and this is where Vindicta can actually display some of that old Wings of Liberty micro. This is what the Muslim made great. This is why Idra is retired. Spine crawlers attacking Bunkers and Marines hopping in and out. The Muslim has done this time and time again. And Hate Me is just in so much trouble man. Like, oh my goodness. This is so uncomfortable. He's gonna Bane Bust. I mean, in this, like from this situation you may just Bane Bust. That's a lot of links. That is a lot of links. A lot of links oh are obviously going to fall oh because seven links have a lot of DPS. Hate me will in the end clean this up. But what do we do from think here that's on out? Be a successful so we need to build bunkers though at home, right? We need a bunker. But he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, oh doesn't come know. on. How do you not know? 
He, like, he doesn't know me. Double spine, this amount of uh, links, you've killed the hatchery. You have to know that you're going to get all in. You have to know. <laughs> Look, Barracks, he's six extra links. It's he easy. should know. Like, 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 it's still not, like, you, it, like, you can't still be 100% sure, man. He could just drop a safety bunker. Ah, uh, maybe. maybe. Maybe it's not even needed. Maybe the Hellions will get the scout. I mean, like, now he sees a second hatchery. But, yeah. I feel like the bailings are gonna be, oh, okay. I, like, I think he's fine for Vindicta. I don't yeah. think, he, even if he breaks the spidey pots, I don't think he can. Yeah, uh, it's not fight. enough. I yeah. feel like hate it, me. Oh, now he now he's gonna do it, but now I want to say it's too late. But we have so many hellions. No, I think he's no, fine. it's enough. It's enough. There's yeah. no way he's gonna attack with like five zerlings. <laughs> oh, yeah, five links against four hellions. Vindicta still in an absolutely marvelous spot, but obviously hate me is gonna be able to get his second base up and running. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, I don't know what to say about this game. Hit me just plays from ages behind right now. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very tough. Even just like a uh, Hellion drop in the main base if it gets a couple of drones. It's going to be very problematic. Yeah. Okay. By the way, Clem and Reino, you guys can already start uh, vetoing as well. If you guys want to get things going on the European server. I think Reino is molding. No, Reino is fine. Why would oh, Reino okay. be molding? Mm, because he plays later. No, no, he doesn't mind. Is he fine with playing late? Yep. Like usually. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, he doesn't mind. He already knew that this was. Uh, he actually predicted this was going to be three two, but he thought it was going to be even longer with a whole bunch of uh, ghosts. And then <laughs> he, <laughs> okay. he was mulling over the fact that uh, the kid probably woke up at ten p.m. and he's speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. That's okay. the only thing he was mulling on. Reina stays up pretty late every single day. You can watch world still 6 a.m. Ah, uh, what do we have here, mate? Hellions, a, ma a marine drop. I, uh, mate, I don't think, I, like, I don't think he has enough to. If, um, I mean, he has double spine. Maybe he's gonna defend all of this. Oh, the spine. gonna be so tough. Ooh, man, this is gonna be so tough for you, baby. But well, who knows? Uh, okay, doesn't get the overlord. I feel like I, a, I, a little Hellion drop would have been way sweeter, man. Just pick up three Hellions. Yeah, you I have agree. So many but Hellions. also, I feel like uh, Vinita can deny the third base pretty easily. Or ML is not cope here. Like, he can deny this base so easy. Please, use a, the Hellions. Yeah. It's gonna be so tough. How many queens does he have? Okay, he has a decent amount. Seems that the final edition of the Basilisk Big Brain Belt is the one that will go the longest. But hey, at least we had a couple of great games today. And I've tried to keep the downtown to an absolute minimum. We and the best co-caster ever. Questionable statement. Okay. The f Not questionable. Not at all. Three Marines on the high ground. Actually able to get a couple of shots up on these rounds. Ah, is there M hope Man for hate me in this series? Man Rainer, this I would do I, I, I would do the joke, but I can't. I won't stream. <laughs> what <laughs> joke? Crazy. I can't say it, man. <laughs> the candy joke. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Eight drones going down. Let's focus a little bit about game five. As Hate Me is trying to drone up, trying to get double Evo up and running and fires up a lair. Is there a universe where he defends the first proper marine tank push, Cuckoo? Uh, not. I, like, I don't think so, man. He, he went double Evo chamber. Like, I think that this is just the perfect game for Vindicta. It's just, like, the best case scenario, best things that Vindicta could have hoped for. I don't think, like, I don't think Hate Me is gonna have Bane, he's gonna be far from having Bane, uh, Bane speed. Does he even have a Bane in this? Is my question. Is there a big brain play that Hate Me could oh. pull off and turn this around? Mm, mm, like, Hate Me can hope about the fact that Vindicta is gonna mess up really hard, but mm -hmm. if Vindicta plays this right, I don't think he, 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 can, uh, he can win this game. All right, well, Hellions, Marines, and a tank are making their way to the other side of the map. Can win Dicta, continue his winning ways and get another W on the board as he throws down a scan, takes out a little bit of the creep. That spine crawler getting a couple of good shots of a lot of Hellions is fearing. Of course, that's not going to help us too much against all these Marines. Baning count is decent. The problem is these are slow Banings and not a stim though has been used. The tank, that's a lot of Queens as well, but Queens are starting to fall. Slow Banings nice doing whatever they can. Nice focus on the Banings by Vindicta. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Kuka. Okay, like, like, 
Like Vindicta and Ra Rainer is pushing forward. He's gonna snipe the Bane No, he didn't snipe the Bane Man, he has so many queens. Enemy has so many queens. It's, it's so hard for Vindicta to break this. Also, I don't think he has combat shield, which is, you know, not the greatest thing. Yep, we have plus one. Combat shield is very close to finishing up. The spine's final spine crawler will fall to a couple of extra links show up. Look at the liberated all. That's some justice from above if I've ever seen it. And plus one marines will go forward. The drones are being pulled. Hate me has played one hell of a best of five. But in the end, it seems like the man who's in a winning mood, Win Dicta, will just continue Dicta. on winning oh. as he wins this fastest big brain bounce. Number four, co main event of the evening. Three to two. And honestly, one hell of a series. Great effort by both players. GG. Win Dicta gets the W. With some realistic mind shots as well. GG, Win Dicta. GG, hate me as well. They played pretty well. Very good show. I think it was an awesome Impressive series. result. Yeah. I think it was In an my awesome, very fun series. So you said it was going to be one-sided. You predicted a 3-0 in favor of Hate Me. Any final words before I let you go, Cuckoo? Yeah. Thank you for having me. And uh, like, I don't know what to say, man. It was fun. Give a shout out to Basilisk. Maybe one more Basilisk, Basilisk, Basilisk. Basilisk, Basilisk. So yeah, don't, don't, don't forget, guys. There's too much Basilisk in the chat. Go, go ahead, give them a follow. Uh, type to them how much you like the the big brain bounce because I think it's a great event. Every every single day, like every single Friday, like overall, I think uh, I think they are great. All right, I'm glad you had fun, Cuckoo. Thank you for hanging out, mate. Thank you for the analysis and the hype, and enjoy the main event of the evening. Yeah, thank you, thank you, bye. thank you. Enjoy. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.